Like Albert Einstein once famously said, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. You can't wake up in the morning, go through your ordinary routine, come home, and expect to have achieved anything different than what you had in the previous days. In fact, the only thing that you can expect from an ordinary routine is ordinary results. But today, I'm here to talk to you about the extraordinary. And the only way to achieve this is by doing something that you've never done before. And I know that sounds crazy. How can I be confident in doing something that I've never done if I've never done it? Well, you have to view life like a sport, where we seek metaphorical goals along the way. So today, let me be your coach as I motivate you to accept the challenge to be better, to attend life's practices, and to aim for your goals. As a child, we all fear taking off our training wheels and riding a two-wheeled bike for the first time. And almost every time, or at least in my case, I fell off. I got countless bruises and scrapes on my arms and legs. I cried a little bit. But I kept, for some reason, getting on the bike and doing the same thing over and over and over. And believe it or not, I kept falling off over and over and over. And so finally, I came to a realization. So I hopped back on the bike, and I began to pedal faster than I ever had before. And for the first time, I kept my balance. Soon enough, I was actually riding my bike for years and years and years. And this realization that I finally came to is that I had to change my routine in order to achieve the goals that I was aiming for. And whether you knew it or not, you have come to this same exact realization at some point in your life, whether it's riding a bike or something completely different, such as applying for a job or going to your dream school. This mentality applies to almost everything you do. Now, oddly enough, this same mentality came into play a few years later. I remember being about nine years old when I firmly committed to playing basketball at a competitive level. I also remember scoring only about two points that whole season, but we don't really talk about that. Anyways, I played on the travel team for years, but I never really achieved anything special. Uh, sure, I shot a shot every once in a while, I got the ball maybe once a game, but I didn't contribute to the team in any way. So instead of changing a sport because of my lack of success, I just decided to approach it differently. I worked harder than I ever had before for six, sometimes seven days a week. And at first, I didn't see any results. And I didn't let myself get discouraged, though, because I knew that instant gratification wasn't as important as aiming for a goal and finally reaching it. And so I continued to work. And eventually, my results paid off. By ninth grade, I had actually earned my spot on the JV boys basketball team. And there's me hiding behind a bunch of taller kids. But I swear, I'm there. And I, of course, this wouldn't have been possible without my coaches, my teammates, my peers, and my family pushing me to be the best that I can be. But it stemmed from me changing my routine and doing something that I never had done before and working harder than I ever had before. Now, this mentality just doesn't apply to sports or basketball in general. Many of my friends have actually used it to pursue their passions, whether it was physics, robotics, or even their academics in general. In fact, academics, like sports, require motivation and commitment. And if you think about it, academics can almost be considered a sport. I know it sounds weird, but stick with me here. They require commitment, motivation, time, practices, and most importantly, goals that you're trying to achieve. So it's because I viewed my academics like I did my work in sports that I've been able to achieve many wins in the past few years. So when I joined the white school in the eighth grade, I was immediately surrounded by a group of kids with a work ethic like I had rarely seen in children my age. And the teachers, they pushed them to achieve their goals and achieve their full potential. So it was almost like being a part of this real team. And because I participated and worked on this real team, I was able to achieve things that I never would have dreamed of in my previous years. Here's a list of a few. I was able to speak at the Humans to Mars Summit I, represent, I spoke to representatives at Congress. I sent a satellite to space. I even got to meet Buzz Aldrin, and here's a picture of me geeking out because how excited I was just to see him. But this didn't stem from just sitting around and hoping for it to happen. I had to work harder than I had before, and most importantly, I changed my routine and did something that I had never done before. Now, I didn't necessarily invent this mentality. In fact, if you look back to almost any form of human innovation, you'll find that humans first had to struggle and then try something new in order to achieve what they were looking for.
Thomas Edison didn't try the same light bulb 10,001 times until on the last try, bam, he had it. The Wright brothers didn't fly the same model over and over and over again until they finally took flight. And we didn't just suddenly place a flag on the moon in the 1960s. In fact, it took President Kennedy galvanizing the nation to get behind space, one failed attempt, and nine other Apollo missions before we finally made it to space. But we did it. And this stemmed from changing what we were doing, trying new technologies, and most importantly, approaching the problems differently than we had before. And this is the only way that we were going to make it to space. But as I said, we did it because we changed what we were doing. So how are riding the bike, playing on a basketball team, and going to the moon the same? I know this sounds like a really bad joke, but I promise you they have similarities, which you've probably noticed throughout my talk. They all require a desire and a drive to achieve something that you truly want. And if you truly do want this, you're going to change your routine to get there. I never would have made the basketball team if I hadn't worked harder than I had before. We would have never ridden that bike as kids if we hadn't pedaled faster than we had before. And humans wouldn't have made it to the moon if we hadn't changed what we were doing. And believe me, I get it. Change is scary. It takes us out of our comfort zone and rips away that control that we want to hold on to so tightly. But if you truly want to achieve something in life, and I mean you truly want something, then you're going to change your ways. And you're going to, most importantly, do something that you have never done before. Thank you.